There's a new place to go starting this weekend to better try and understand Minnesota's history, the good and the bad. It's a one of a kind exhibit at the Minnesota History Center in St. Paul. We actually got an exclusive first look of it and you are about to see it for the first time too. And this is a perfect example where history and art uh, collide. Sure, it's a museum, but it may as well be a library because it's full of story. Uh, not only was he a painter, he was also a preacher. After story. Bishop Whipple was the first Episcopal bishop in Minnesota. After story. But in order for him to understand uh, his subject, he would start, often start with making a map of it. The brand new exhibit is called Art Speaks. And it's an expression of Brian Zatt's life work. Well, the opportunity to do a large exhibition like this was really, for me, a once in a lifetime or once in a career opportunity. It's nestled in the History Center, but unlike other exhibits, this one is all visual art hand created by Minnesotans. We can use a work of art as a window into a whole variety of topics. So we could talk about um, the individuals that are portrayed or the landscapes that are portrayed, whether that's Lake Superior or St. Anthony Falls. And we think that Minnesotans resonate uh, with that work because they're familiar with it themselves. We think uh, here the art uh, can tell a bigger story or a more meaningful story to Minnesotans. And here are some of the stories. We started at the first of four sections, portraits. So these are the faces of Minnesota. That's correct. These are portraiture uh, through time. There was one face in particular I immediately felt connected to, and I soon found out why. This is a portrait of a woman named Barbara Cyrus, who was a columnist for the uh, local uh, spokesman recorder for many years. Uh, She's a right. journalist. She's a journalist. I knew I was drawn See, to her. you're drawn to her. And beside her, a man Minnesota sports fans still draw near. I recognize this man. Bud Grant, one of our well, notable Minnesotan. This is one of our most recent uh, acquisitions. The faces of past and present leading right into a section full of landscapes past and present. So these are places? Yes, this is the places section. This is Minnesota landscapes. We first stopped at this piece by an African-American artist who played minor league baseball, then worked as a butler. They don't have to be a famous artist or a highly exhibited artist. They can be an artist uh, who uh, maybe was an amateur in his or her lifetime. This is one of the largest pieces by an immigrant from Vietnam. And this is amazing to me. Yeah, this is one of my favorite works on the show. This is where uh, you know the presence of winter, the season of winter plays, uh, figures prominently in, in uh, Minnesota artists' careers. Winter is beauty, <laughs> or it can be. Well, and it's long. It's long, <laughs> long, you're right. Next is the voices section from this powerful piece representing 38 indigenous lives brutally lost in a mass killing to modern day reminders of pain, like the pandemic. Garbage collectors, healthcare workers, all of them sort of on the front line of the pandemic. Some of that lighter art is in this final abstract section. Minnesotans are, are, many, are many things, and, and one of those is we have a sense of humor, and you'll see that in this work, and, it, and the work can be playful, fanciful, but also uh, very serious topics are, are covered here. And I have never seen anything like this. Well, this is a work, a signature work by Judy Onofrio, who is based in Rochester, Minnesota. An exuberant work by an exuberant artist. Uh, she takes found objects, everything from bottle caps to uh, teacups to juicers, and creates these sort of uh, magnificently uh, kind of over-the-top uh, uh, sculptures. This is found stuff. All found stuff. She visited uh, thrift shops, uh, yard sales, junk shops, anything where she could collect, uh, and obviously in large quantities. It's a collection of art. We can use a work of art as a window into a whole variety of topics. A collection of stories. It's an iconic image that uh, all of us in Minnesota are familiar with. Representing a collage of people. Well, photojournalist Joe Berglove and I so enjoyed getting a peek of that. If you want to get in, the exhibit is now officially open in downtown St. Paul at the History Center. It's going to run through July.